To try to make some Tim Holtz style paper dolls, I've pulled out an old postcard, some old photos that I bought from eBay, and a book that I got secondhand from Facebook Marketplace. So hopefully a cheap source for doing this project. What I'm going to do first is fussy cut around the actual images and then look at his paper dolls and I think some have wings and some don't and hopefully do a combination. Quick little tip, ones that are on stiffer paper you can fussy cut immediately. Also if you think you're going to add wings to a picture you can fussy cut that immediately because I've noticed with the Tim Holtz style you would then add a backing like white or black and then do a rough cut around that. That's what he does. However, if you think you just want the person with no wings and it's on very thin paper like this one, I would back the paper first, let that glue dry off and then fussy cut it because that way you're gonna save yourself two cutting jobs. Once they're cut out, you will see that there's white bits showing through from where you cut. What you do is you turn your image over, grab your black ink and gently just rub along your cut marks. And you can see where it's picking up here, a, a thin black line. That will hopefully fill in any white core showing when you turn it round. Yeah, I'm not seeing any white core on that now, so that seems to work. As you can see, I cut a pile of them. <laughs> so I've got quite a bit of work to do now. If you want a plain paper doll, these are now done. However, some of you like the ones with the butterfly wings, so I thought I would find one and potentially make them a butterfly wing version. Let's do one without a border and then let's do one with and see how we get on. So I'm going to use that one and I will do the without border first. This is the one without the white border and I'm thinking you should probably cut up so that the wings don't show below the arms. We'll see if this doesn't look right we'll do it differently. Okay, I prefer them not showing. To do the ones with the white border, we're simply going to glue them in place and then glue the whole thing onto the white paper. Cut round this so there's a bit of a border, which is slightly less fussy cutting than actually cutting the image out not having to be quite so precise. I don't mind if the border is fatter in some places and slimmer in others. I'm not going for perfection. So what I've done here is I've put together some with a white border, some with a red, some with no border, just to show that actually if you make your own paper dolls, you have choices. Thought we might try making a little page decoration using a paper doll and some scraps. Doesn't quite fit that. It doesn't have to fully fit anything, mind, because we can tear it down. Problem is I don't really like it torn in one bit and not in another bit. Tell you what, let's go plain. We could either tear around him and then add, yeah, I think I'll do that. There, oh, took a while. Now I'm happy to add torn paper. Might keep the white core showing to lighten it all. So we could put that side. But we've got some numbers, some vintage stickers. Really, we just need that a touch bigger. A little bit of that shows. Could do a bit more of this. Now looking for a word or a number or something. Maybe I can do this. And then I think just a little ink stamp, maybe. I'll go off the page with it. You can just about see the story, it's fine. 
like that actually that works quite well for a bit of a scrappy page decoration I might do another one we've got her and she's outlined in black I'll stick away on it for two minutes I think what I'm going to do with this one is make it into a tuck spot or a, yeah a tuck spot or a pocket I don't know if she should be smaller narrower I could actually just turn these in so that it will stand away from the page snip a bit off here and here and then it will go on the page like that I'm not going to decorate that pocket any more than that so we have a pocket page cluster about we do a window I will put the glue along this edge I need to just position it right as I've already made a little cluster and a pocket I've decided the third example will be a tag to do this quickly I'm not going to do what I normally do which is template around the window and cut it from one piece of paper I am going to simply collage around and keep the back basically free so it can be a journaling spot I have this here that sort of goes because it's old-fashioned as well got a bit of a letter type thing going on there All writing to go sideways on and could go along that way this which would fit along there we're going to go with that over the window and then probably just something here not sure i like that particularly but we shall see what happens it looks pretty cool doesn't it even with all the jazzy colors but this area seems to dominate so i had a look and i thought could you not saying you could could you do something in this corner do a label i think two stamps works i'd love to put something here we'll go with a couple of buttons yeah i might do that i have lots of people left over i don't think i'm going to run out of those anytime soon i love these little projects i actually genuinely like all of those I like the idea of making my own if you also like this video please give it a thumbs up that really does help with youtube as does subscribing i have over 250 videos now and i've only been doing this nine months so that's plenty to choose from and let me know what you think of making your own paper dolls in the comments below